Hi, this is Paul Rubio, Vice President of Western States Metal Roofing, and welcome to the Western States Metal Roofing channel. In this video, we're going to talk about corrugated metal roofing, and by the end of this video, you'll know the advantages and disadvantages um, when corrugated metal roofing is and is not a good fit, ballpark cost, and next steps, things to look at in order to continue your research, and what you need to do to order corrugated metal roofing. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of panel colors and finishes, all while saving 15 to 50% on your materials by buying Factory Direct. For an in-depth guide to corrugated metal roofing, download our free ebook today, link in the description below. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, so what is corrugated metal roofing? Now there is really two, two definitions of corrugated metal roofing. Um, the new school definition would be a wavy or S-shaped panel that's typically 7 eighths of an inch in depth or half inch deep. However, corrugated metal roofing has been around so long that it's kind of a catch-all term that means any type of metal roofing that is not a standing seam. Before we get into when to use corrugated roofing, let's talk about the benefits of corrugated metal. This type of roofing has a lot of benefits. Uh, longevity and durability. It's affordable and there's long-term cost savings. Easy installation and if you can install it yourself, it's DIY friendly. Uh, low maintenance. Resistance to fire and rotting. Energy efficiency large selection of colors and finishes, and you don't need to worry about oil canning. A metal roof can last 40 to 60 plus years. That's about two to three times longer than a typical asphalt shingle roof. A uh, metal roof will not chip, warp, or crack. Uh, it will not rot, and it'll handle wind gusts of up to 140 miles an hour. It's an excellent choice if you live in a climate with harsh weather conditions. So generally, a corrugated metal roofing panel will cost you a dollar to two fifty per square foot. That's for the material only. The installation portion is typically four fifty to five fifty per square foot. Corrugated metal roofing is a much easier installation than a standing seam, and it's perfect for a DIY project. So if you're installing this product yourself. Um, you should really look at a one of the exposed fastener panels such as corrugated whereas a standing seam would not be appropriate for, for a DIY project. Um, the other advantage is you're going to have more contractors that are capable of installing this. Um, you know you just need a different skill set to install a standing seam and more experience versus installing a corrugated panel on your roof or wall. A corrugated panel has less accessories and less trim. Um, when you attach the panel to your substrate, it's simply screws that go through the panel and into the substrate with the corrugated. A standing seam has both clips and screws. More importantly though is the trim. So for example, a standing seam will have, and on a ridge cap condition, will have a ridge cap and two Z flashings. So you'll have a total of three pieces of trim. On a corrugated panel, you simply have a ridge cap. Now what this means to you is uh, you have to buy less trim, it will install quicker, you need less of a skill set to install it, and generally you're just going to save probably 40 to 50 percent on your trim alone. There's not much to worry about with corrugated metal roofing. Um, it doesn't rot, there's no mildew, so really all you need to do is keep your roof free of debris, check your fasteners, and have regular inspections on your roof. So unlike asphalt shingles, metal doesn't rot. You don't need to worry about mold or mildew, uh, termites and rodents, none of these are an issue with metal. Um, furthermore, metal when installed correctly qualifies as a class A fire rated product and that's the best fire rating. So if you live in an area that's prone to wildfires, metal is a fantastic choice. Corrugated metal roofing is both energy efficient and it's a green product. Uh, it's made of 100% recyclable materials and you will save money on your heating and cooling costs. There was a study done by the Green Building Alliance that showed a 7% to 15% savings on your total cooling cost. There are tons of design options with corrugated metal roofing. Unlike asphalt shingles in which you only have a few colors to choose from, you literally have hundreds of colors to choose from with metal. So because of the way corrugated is made with, um, with ribs, with highs and lows, um, 
you don't have to worry about oil canning. Now, in case you don't know what oil canning is, it's, it's, you'll see it on standing seam a lot. Uh, when you look at the panel in the sun and it looks like it has wrinkles on it, um, you don't need to worry about that with corrugated. It's a stronger panel uh, because of the corrugations and those corrugations, uh, either you don't get oil canning or they hide the oil canning, but, but either way, it's, it's something you don't need to worry about with a corrugated panel. So we've talked about the advantages. Now, what are the disadvantages of corrugated metal roofing? It's an exposed fastener panel, more maintenance than a standing seam panel. It's not compatible with the flat roof. You need to purchase more material because of the panel side lab and panel appearance. The biggest disadvantage of a corrugated roofing system is that it's an exposed fastener panel. So what this means is you're going to have thousands of screws that penetrate the panel and attach it to your substrate. Now every screw is a potential leak point. Maybe the screw is over tightened or it's under tightened. Um, uh, you're going to have expansion and contraction. In other words, when the weather goes from hot to cold and vice versa, um, a year after year of doing this, the screws might tend to back themselves out a little bit. And what that means to you is periodically you might have to go up on your roof and, and just check the fasteners to make sure that they're tight. Um, whereas when you have a standing seam panel, the fasteners are concealed. You don't have to worry about them leaking. You don't have to worry about expansion and contraction. It's just a more weather tight system than an exposed fastener panel. Now, if you're researching what's the best type of roof for you, I highly recommend your starting point should be to learn the difference between an exposed fastener and a concealed fastener panel. Maintenance. So you might be asking yourself, how can maintenance be both an advantage and a disadvantage? And that simply depends upon what you're comparing it to. So if you're comparing corrugated to a different roofing system, such as an asphalt shingle roof, it absolutely is less maintenance and therefore it's an advantage. However, if you're comparing corrugated to standing seam, it's going to require more maintenance, so that's why I've listed it as both an advantage and a disadvantage. And the more maintenance will be, is in direct relation to the fasteners. You periodically need to go up on your roof and make sure that they haven't loosened up on you. So corrugated metal roofing is not compatible with a low slope roof. With a corrugated panel, you want a pitch that is a minimum of 3 and 12 inches. If you have a pitch that's less than that, a standing seam roof would be a better option. So when you're looking at your different exposed fastener panel options, um, you actually have to purchase more material with a corrugated panel when compared to something like an R panel or a um, 7.2 panel. And the reason is the panel overlap or panel side lap. So with, a, with an R panel, for example, you pay for a 36 inch wide panel and you get a full 36 inches of coverage. You don't lose anything with the overlap. Corrugated is different. On a wall application, you're gonna lap it back one corrugation and on a roof, you lap it back two corrugations. So what this means is you lose coverage. You'll have to buy 6% additional material on a wall and 12% additional material on a roof. Uh, looks are subjective. Everybody has a different opinion on what looks better. Does a corrugated panel look better than a standing seam panel or an R panel? You know, this is, an, uh, this is a personal preference, but generally speaking, most people do think that a standing seam is a more modern looking panel. So when should you consider corrugated metal roofing? Um, first and foremost, your budget. Corrugated panels will cost you about half of what a standing seam panel will cost. The second major consideration would be, are you doing the installation yourself? Uh, beyond that, there's some minor things. Uh, is your job commercial, agricultural, or residential? You tend to see corrugated a little more on a commercial or agricultural jo uh, job site versus a residential job. And finally, um, are you worried about oil canning? If you're worried about oil canning, corrugated metal roofing is a much better fit. So when is corrugated metal not a good fit for you? Uh, if you have a low slope roof, if your pitch is less than three and 12 inch, a standing seam would be a better fit. Um, also, if you want a roof with less maintenance or a more weather tight roof, standing seam would be a better fit. And finally, if you're looking for a roof that has a more modern design, standing seam's probably better for you.
Want to learn the differences between corrugated and standing seam metal roofing? Or need help choosing the perfect metal roofing color? Check out these videos and please support our channel by hitting like and subscribe.